developers are talented people, and I think we have a tendency every few years to threaten their jobs, you know, with AI and, you know, code generators, by the way, are nothing new. We've had AI-based code generators for a long time. Now we have some pretty good technology that can generate some pretty good code. In many cases, it can be superior to some, some of the code that humans can write. And so I'm not knocking the AI tools. But at the end of the day, we have to have the ability to reproduce these systems. And we have to have accountability because if we're pushing this out in a business environment, then they're going to be risking their business based on the functionality of the software. And if something's get the, getting them away from standards or getting away from disciplines, that's going to put the business at risk. And so most businesses are saying no to vibe coding. I agree with them. I think it's a nice distraction. It's cute to talk about. It's a great conference presentation, but not necessarily is going to have any uh, business value. And I think in, in many cases, it's going to diminish businesses from their value because some of these developers, instead of working to the discipline of building systems that are going to solve the problems of the business, are off using AI uh, in this way to you know code to whatever they're you know, hearts and whims are, are, are stating, and you, you can't work that way. Ultimately, vibe coding is a shortcut that sacrifices quality and reliability for fleeting personal satisfaction and a trendy AI novelty at the end of the day. So I understand why it's interesting to do that. I play around with LLMs all the time, and you can have it write things for you and, you know, write a website and, you know, help you with a database design, things like that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't generate something that's going to be very useful in terms of a system that's going to be repeating behavior and over and over again. So